Hello everyone! Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 9 learners. Sa video na ito ay igaguide ko kayo sa inyong learning task number 2. Letter B, perform the indicated operations, express your answer in simplest radical form. Meron akong separate na video kung paano mag-add at mag-subtract, multiply at mag-divide ng radicals. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood, i-click nyo na lang dito sa taas or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Disclaimer ng mga anak, pinalitan ko yung mga ibang values dito upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung nasa module ninyo kasi mas magandang mag-solve kapag kayo mismo ang mag-solve. Okay? Bago natin simulan, ay i-review lang natin kung ano nga ba ang rule in addition and subtraction of radicals. In adding or subtracting radicals, you can only add or subtract similar radicals. Pag sinabing similar radicals, pareho sila ng nasa loob, yung nandito sa loob, yung nakapayong. Okay? To add or subtract similar radicals, add or subtract only the coefficients of the radical number and copy the common radicals. Okay? So, ang gagawin lang natin, yung coefficients lang ang i-add natin or isusubtract natin. Dito sa number 1, negative 7 square root of 6 minus square root of 6. As you can see, similar radical sila kasi pareho silang square root of 6. So, pwede natin yung i-add. And take note na kapag wala kayong nakikita sa unahan ng radical expression, always merong invisible yan na 1. So, lagyan natin ng 1. And then, ang isusubtract natin dito ay yung mga coefficients. So, negative 7 minus 1. Remember, yung keep change change natin. Negative 7 minus 1, keep natin yung negative 7, change natin yung operation magiging plus, then change natin yung positive 1 ng negative 1. So, magiging negative 7 plus negative 1, magkapareho. So, i-add natin, then copy the sign, magiging negative 8. So, the final answer is negative 8. Then, kopyahin nyo lang yung common na radical na square root of 6. Okay, so ganun lang siya. Ito na yung final answer. Number 2, we have negative 5 square root of 5 plus 3 square root of 5. Pareho sila ng radicand, meaning to say, pwede nating i-add itong coefficients. Negative 5 plus 3, mapag magka-iba ng sign naman, subtract natin yung absolute value nila. So, 5 minus 3 equals 2. Then, copy the sign of the greater number. Anong mas malaki? Yung 5 or 3? Yung 5. Ang sign niya is negative, kaya negative 2. Kopyahin yung radical expression, square root of 5. So, this is now the final answer. Next, number 3. Negative 2 square root of 27 minus 2 square root of 27 minus 2 square root of 27. So, pare-pareho sila. So, similar radical sila. Ibig sabihin, pwede nating i-add yung mga coefficients. So, negative 2 minus 2 minus 2, magkakapareho ng sign. So, i-add ninyo. 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 6. Then, copy their sign, negative. And then, copy the common radicals na square root of 27. And, ito pala, take note. Kapag pwede pang isimplify yung nasa loob ng radical sign, pwede nyo pang ilabas. Dito kasi sa number 1 at number 2, hindi na pwedeng kunin yung square root ng 5 at square root ng 6. Pero dito, pwede pa, ba Ano yung factor ni 27 na may perfect square? Pwede siyang 9 times 3. Kasi perfect square yung 9. So, kopyahin lang yung negative 6. Ngayon, ano ang square root ng 9? Tama, that is... Positive 3. So, si positive 3, ilalabas natin. Again lang natin ng parenthesis. Then, ang matitira sa loob ay si 3. Square root of 3. And then, simplify na natin to. 
negative 6 times 3 equals negative 18. Copy the radical expression, square root of 3. So, this is now the final answer. Okay? Always remember na kapag pwede pang isimplify yung nasa loob, kailangan ninyong ilabas or kailangan ninyong kunin yung simplified form niya. Then, i-multiply ninyo doon sa nasa labas. And then, dito naman sa number 4, we have negative 2 square root of 12 plus 2 square root of 3 plus 2 square root of 20. And as you can see, hindi pare-pareho yung kanilang radikan, di ba? Kailangan similar radical sila. So, kunin muna natin yung kanilang simplified form. Okay? Kopyahin muna natin yung coefficient. And then, mag-isip tayo ng perfect square na factor ni 12. That is 4. So, 12 divided by 4 equals 3. So, 4 times 3 equals 12. Ganun yun. Plus 2. And then, square root of 3 ay naka-simplified form na yan. Plus 2. Ano naman ang perfect square na factor ni 20? That is 4. And then, ang factor niya is 4 and 5. So, pwede na natin simplify. Negative 2, anong square root ng 4? That is 2 ilabas natin. Square root of 3 ang matitira. Plus 2, square root of 3, plus 2. And then, ang square root ng 4 is 2. So, ilalabas natin yung square root of 4, that is 2. And then, ang matitira sa loob is square root of 5. Next is simplify. Negative 2 times 2 equals negative 4. Square root of 3 plus 2. Square root of 3 plus 2 times 2 equals 4. Square root of 5. Aling dyan ang similar? Yung negative 4 square root of 3 at 2 square root of 3. So, ito lang ang pwede nating i-add. Negative 4 plus 2. Magkaiba ng sign, so isubtract ninyo, then copy the sign of the greater number, that would be equal to negative 2. Copy the radical expression, square root of 3. Then, kopyahin nyo lang itong 4, square root of 5. Kasi hindi na natin yan pwedeng i-add, magkaiba sila. So, this is now the final answer. Alright? Okay. Now, let's proceed sa number 5. Negative 7, 6 root of 3, minus 3, 6 root of 192, minus 6 root of 320. So, hindi sila pare-pareho. So, kailangan muna natin kunin yung simplified form nila. Since ito, naka-simplified form na, kopyahin na lang muna natin. Negative 7, 6 root of 3, and then minus 3, 6 root of, ano ang... Factor ni 192 na perfect 6 root. That is 64. 64 times 3. So 64 times 3 equals 192. Kasi yung 64 ay perfect 6 root. Minus, ano naman ang perfect 6 root ni 320? That is 64 din. So 64 times 5 naman equals 320. And then, kunin na natin yung root nila. Ito ay naka-simplified form na. Negative 7, 6 root of 3. And then, ito naman, minus 3. Ang 6 root ng 64 ay 2. Ilalabas natin si 2. And then, matitira sa loob si 3. Teka, ilipat ko muna to. Next is, Negative, ang 6 root ni 64 ay 2. And then, ang matitira sa loob ay 6 root of 5. May 6 dito. Then, simplify muna natin. Negative 7, 6 root of 3. Negative 3 times 2 equals negative 6. 6 root of 3 minus 2, 6 root of 5. Alin dito ang similar radicals? Ito lang dalawa. So, ito lang ang pwede nating i-add. Negative 7 minus 6, keep change, change. So, negative 7 minus 6, magiging negative 7 plus negative 6. Pag magkapareho, i-add ninyo, then copy their sign. That would be equal to negative 
13. So, negative 13, sixth root of 3. Then, kopyahin nyo lang yung negative 2, sixth root of 5. Okay? So, this is now the final answer. Nakuha ninyo? Now, let's proceed naman dito sa number 6. So, napalitan na siya. So, magkakaiba sila ng radicand. Simplify muna natin yung pwedeng masimplify. Kopyahin lang natin to 4, 6 root of 3, plus 2. Ano naman ang factor ni 32 na perfect 4 root? So, tingin tayo dito. Ano ang factor ni 32? That is 16, di ba? So, ang root niya is 2. 16 times 2. Then, kopyahin naman natin to. Minus 3. Ano naman ang factor ni 128 na perfect 6 root? Is 64 divisible by 128? Pwede. Kasi ito hindi na pwede. Masyado ng malaki. So, that is 6 root of 64 times 2 minus 2. 6 root of 64 times 2 din. Then, simplify natin. 4, 6 root of 3 plus 2 times, ano naman ang 4 root ng 16 kanina? That is 2. Lalabas natin yung 2. Then, magre-remain si 4 root of 2. Minus 3 times, ano ang 6 root ng 64? That is 2. And then, magre-remain si 6 root of 2 ito. Minus 2 times ang 6 root ni 64 ay 2. Lalabas natin. And then, ang matitira sa loob ay 6 root of 2. Nasundan ninyo. Then, simplify. 4, 6 root of 3. 2 times 2 equals positive 4. 4 root of 2. Negative 3 times 2 equals negative 6. 6 root of 2. Negative 2 times 2 equals negative 4, 6 root of 2. Nasundan? Pwede na natin i-add yung mga magkakapareho ng radikan. So, ito, magkapareho sila ng index pero magkaiba sila ng radikan so hindi pwedeng i-add yan. Ang pwede lang natin i-add ay itong 6 root of 2 na pareho. So, ito, copy lang natin, 4, 6 root of 3 plus 4. 4 root of 2, and then negative 6 minus 4, that would be equal to negative 10, 6 root of 2. So, ito lang yung pwede nating i-add kasi sila lang ang pareho ng radical sign. Okay? So, this is now the final answer, pero tingnan nyo na lang kung ano yung nandyan sa given ninyo. Pero, dapat ganito ang gawin ninyo. Alright? Mga anak, kumpleto na yung mga learning tasks natin hanggang sa week 8. Kung gusto ninyong panoorin, i-click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Alright? Kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral ng mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!